Hi Leo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your February 2019 reading. I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot. Sorry about the lighting as usual. And I'm also complementing that with the normal playing cards. Um, so, I want to say Happy Valentine's to any of those, or Cupid's Day to any of those who celebrate it. And um, for Valentine's, I'm doing live readings. So, um, uh, watch for the notification on that of when I'm doing that. And if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification. Um, I want to say thank you for the 400, over 400 uh, views and the many likes and shares too. I appreciate it. I really do. So let's get let's get down to business. Mark Carmela, Leo, February 2019. Leo. Look at her sitting in her princess bed or mater. <laughs> And I'm so happy she does. I got her like a really super soft fluffy blanket to go on it. So she's just like Jean Jacques Kapoor on there. Anyway, back to you, Leo. What are the messages for my Leo? February 2019, Leo. Leo, tell me. Tell me what's out there. These cards, you can get tired. Your arms can get tired shuffling them. They're so heavy and big. You know, they're awkward. So I think they're getting ready here. Yeah. Yep. They're ready. So I'm doing a past, present, future. And uh, I'll kind of show you the layout once I have it all laid out. I like to turn all the cards over now. Um, wow, I love that card. One of my favorite cards just came out, the wheel. Hmm, interesting, Leo. So the first card in your past is the wheel. See that? So she's drawing, starting to draw a new map. Things have changed. There's change in the air. And she's drawing a new map. She's starting to draw a new map, a new wheel of where she's going. And um, she's also coming out of the cave, too. Like, I know you see that in the hermit, and the wheel is right after the hermit. Um, coming out of the cave, making your map, knowing what you want to do, or I think it's more knowing what you don't want to do. You know what you don't want to do. So you're heading away from that in a new direction of what you think is uh, matches up with you better kind of thing. But here you have the Two of Wands, and this shows a man he he's he, you can't really tell which way he's facing because you can see through him he could be facing this way towards the forest that path um and i think of that as the sheltered path the safer path or he could head out into the open um field and see over the hill and beyond the dale and see where that goes. But he's at a standstill. He can't decide which way to go, um, which which might serve him best, right? Serve you best, Leo. So, and then you have Sir Nunos. And this is the devil. This is temptation taking you off your path, you know. Um, this is the thing. Maybe that's the decision. You know, should I go in the woods and see, I can hear or smell something delicious. Should I go in there and see what that is first before I go on my way? 
you know. And the thing is, is this has taken you off your path, this devil uh, energy. It's a temptation. It's a, um, it's something you wouldn't want permanently. You know what I mean? It's something you wouldn't want permanently. It's like a taste. And be careful with taking a taste. It's like having one chip. <laughs> you just can't do it. <laughs> so the first card in your present is the first couple of weeks of February. And the past, by the way, is any time before February. It could be up to last year even that you've been going through this process. But maybe it's just happening now. Um, but this is the first two weeks of February, and this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is sort of done with something that you've been investing in, and something that you've been um, creating around you. You're done with it. You don't want to. You're bored. You don't like it. Um, and But also there's a warning there of overindulgence. Um, and that's the thing, when you do get bored with something, you start to overindulge in something else. So, this is basically saying it's time to move on. And it's funny because it comes right under the wheel. You know, time to move on. Time to make a new map. Time to invest in something new. You know, um, this is not what you want to do anymore. And he's kind of sitting there thinking, well... What can I do? Like, what can I do? But those kids around him, sometimes they represent your dependence or responsibilities. Um, sometimes they represent um, what you're going to, uh, what you're creating, what's going to live past you. So, you you know, these could be different investments along the way, too, you know what you invest in. Anyway, then you have the Magician. And this is a magnificent card to have in the center of your reading. Um, it's telling you that you have the potential to create whatever you want, go in whatever direction you want. You're very skilled. You're very smart. And um, you do have that inner knowing. You do have that um, understanding, okay? This is kind of an understanding. Um, and the magician, um, you know, it's the way he does everything, the way he talks, the way he handles himself, um, his knowledge, like he's educated. He's He knows what he's talking about. He doesn't speak what he doesn't know of, you know what I mean? And so that, his skills, experience, potential can take him anywhere. And this is you right now, Leo. You can go anywhere, do whatever you want. It's saying, pick which direction you want to. It'll work. You can do it. Don't, don't be afraid to pick, to not pick one, you know? Go ahead, pick it. You can do it. The, the magician is telling you, you can do it either way, whether you go that way or the, you go that way. Or maybe stay right where you are. You can do that too. But look, if there's something new coming in, there's a new idea. You've discovered something new you want to invest in. And you may be keeping it a secret right now. You see, you got this bear protecting this honey hole here, this source the source of the idea, the, you want to protect it because you want to invest in this. Um, this could be a new, hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with what led you off the path or what's trying to lead you off the path. Maybe you think to yourself, hey, I'm looking at all of this the wrong way. I'm looking at all of this the wrong way. Okay? And that's what she's trying to figure out down here. You know, she's like, okay, i got to look at this again. Right? Anyway, you, you get an idea. This is like the idea 
it first comes in your head. You haven't done anything with it yet. You haven't taken it to the two yet. And the two is the plan, okay? What am I going to do with this, you know? Um, but you have the idea. You know what you want to do, what you want to manifest, okay? It's kind of cool because I say that a lot, I know. But um, it's just a natural progression. You go from the king accomplished you did what you intended to do you accomplished it but now you're bored with that you want something new you don't like it anymore what could I do what do I want to manifest and then you come up with the idea or you see it or read it or hear about it or something you know that it's for you you know that it's for you okay it uh, anyway your next card is the two of pentacles and isn't that funny you're going to take that ace right to the two I just said that. It's only the ace. Well, now you're going to take it to the two. But the thing is, with this part of the plan, you know what you want to do, but you may have to juggle your resources until your ships come in, until um, you're ready to go to the three. You may have to juggle your resources before you're able to move ahead with the plan. And the boats represent moving ahead. When they come in, you can board one, and then you can... Uh, um, head to your destination with this. But the other question is, too, with the Two of Pentacles, is which ship will you board? Which destination will you go to? And that, this is what you're wondering here back in the two of this one. Another two, another decision. But this one's more about you need to stretch or pull from this to pay for that and then pull, take from that to pay for this till your ships come in, until you're at the time where you can roll ahead, get on the ship and start heading in the direction you seek. So, <laughs> the next card, this is just unfolding. It's like turning the pages of a book. It is your reading, okay? So the next page in the story is you get on your ship and you leave. You're heading away. You could be moving. You could be traveling to seek your journey. You could be actually moving. Maybe in the sixth month, maybe in June, you're moving uh, to a new place. Um, I think you knew you wanted to do this. This is one of the things you knew. Maybe this Ace of Pentacles back here is the place, the new spot you found. Um, but this is you moving you're getting on one of those boats it's so funny these boats coming in and here you're getting in one you you've picked you've chosen okay your destination you know where you're going now um and then you have the four of cups and the four of cups is it's a, you know you want something stable emotionally you want something stable emotionally. And this doesn't feel, there's three cups down here. There's still one hidden. There's something you don't know. Or um, there could be someone that is interested in you but hasn't shown themselves because you can't see that behind you, you know, that beautiful shining cup. And it's kind of in a protected little alcove in the tree. It reminds me of the heart of the tree. Because if you look at this tree, it looks like a man to me. You know, there's his chest and his arm coming up and his head there. And this cup looks like it's sitting in the heart of the, our, the man's chest and his back. But anyway, this guy is... Um, reminiscing or disappointed about empty promises. It's kind of, to me, this is represents. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because back here in the Ten of Pentacles and here in the Four of Cups, there's some thought process going on here. You know, he's thinking, what do I want to invest in? And then and he, he's worried about his investments and his stability and security. And he has these children, three children running around. This guy is worried about his heart 
and and only has empty promises like that's all he can focus on but there are other possibilities back there see and um and and it's in that heart of the tree the heart of the um You know, I think this person could um, could contain a lot. It could be very strong person. Um, maybe wishy washy inside, but very strong on the outside. May have a um, a stronger exterior than they really do. You know, they, they're soft-hearted. Um, but it's like a dreamy thing. It's like, you know, you're not seeing, you're really not seeing the, the whole picture. And I think it has something to do with this temptation back here. <coughs> the temptation could be pulling you back, you know, in your mind, in your romantic mind. Um, but don't forget, this is physical. It's not, you know, if it's people, if that's what the temptation is, a person, this is physical. It's not love. It's not emotional. It's not um, deep in any way. It's just exciting because it's new and it's different and it's forbidden. It's like making out with your cousin or something. It's... <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean that. Um, I mean, it's forbidden. It's just forbidden. It's your neighbor or something like that. I don't know. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to take another card in each uh, line here. So this is your past up here. This is your present. This is your future. I'm going to take one more card at the end of each of these lines because I'd just like a little more clarification, you know. So the first card is at the end of your past, which is before February, and it shows confusion, you know. You're, you don't know if you're coming or going. Again, you might have, you might be having weird dreams that, um, things are coming to you, your dreams, or perhaps this temptation is disrupting your dreams. Um, but there's confusion, right? Because you, you don't know, uh, like I said, whether you're coming or going. Um, you can't, you don't know whether you should go up that path or come down. So I'll leave it at that. Mm. The next card, the last card in your present is the Two of Swords. That comes after that Ace of Pentacles. So that in some way is being blinded um, as to what, what you should do compared to what you want to do. You know, you don't want to see what you should be doing. What you know, you know what you should be doing. What you should, the path you should go on, what best serves you. But you don't want to see that. You want to see this other, but there's this other way and it looks exciting. It looks tempting, you know. So it's kind of funny. It's like I don't know if I'm coming or going and here you're at the fork in the road and it's saying which way? Which way are you going to go? Either way looks, um, you know, the one way looks a uh, easier because there's light at the woods don't go on forever and then this side looks to, like it gets darker but really you don't know what's at the end at when you reach the edge of the woods you know you can't see beyond the trees you can't so that's that's the thing you you're I get the feeling you're you're um uh, maybe obsessed with something you you may have some sort of obsession with something that keeps going around and around and around in your head and you don't want to see 
what is practical, what is the, the best way for you. Let's see where you're going. So, uh, okay. So you have the Prince of Pentacles. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight has decided to move. As you can see, you know, in this, in your future line, you are on the move. You have that Two of Pentacles waiting for your ships. Then the Six of Swords, your ship comes in, you get in it, and you leave. And then the Four of Cups, sort of, sort of, um, disappointment feeling like, um, concentrating on empty promises. Anyway, so this is now turned in the right direction. He's ready to go. However, he hasn't left yet. You know, I'm still getting ready. You know, he he doesn't even have, um, you know, he has his sword up. He's a little bit defensive. He's a little bit, um, like, you know, like I said, this, this is daunting. This way is daunting. He's like, going to head into one of these directions and it's like I better put my sword up because I can't really see beyond the trees what I'm going what I'm getting into can't see what I'm getting into here either way either direction so you know he's got his his shield up and he's ready to protect himself heading into this okay but this this guy will achieve his goal. He he's very well prepared as well. You know, he's fully dressed. He has pants and shoes and he has a shield up. He's very well prepared and he's going to keep getting ready until he's and before he leaves. He's not going to leave ill prepared. All right. So this is um You know, and, and he's almost got a sword. I know it looks like he's holding it back there, like back in a submissive position, kind of. It looks submission, submissive to me. But it also looks ready, like wound up, ready to, to, to knock you with it. You know, def it's defensive to me. It's defensive. So, um, he's, he's defensive. He's, he doesn't feel fully confident about what he's heading into. Confusion, you know, about where you're going, where you're going. Okay. But you're going, you're going, you're going to do it, you know? So you gotta have, give yourself some credit for that. Cause I, I have to say, um, I would be daunted by that too. I would. Sometimes change is very scary. You know, for some people it's very, I thrive on change. I love change. If I don't have change, that's scary. But for others, change is very scary. They like things to stay uh, structured and consistent and, um, and maybe that's the way it is for you, Leo. Like, uh, you, don't, don't really like change and it's it's very disruptive perhaps to you so what are the messages for Leo for February 2019 scratch my forehead oh I'm in Ontario uh, Canada if anyone is interested some people um, ask me where I am in the world and that helps when you're booking readings too I'm on um, Eastern Standard Time um, in Ontario Canada I'm right down um, on the border of the U.S., of the New York border, um, like right in southern Ontario, right close to the border. In the land of lakes. That's where I am, the land of lakes. So many lakes around here. You can't drive 15 minutes in any direction and not hit water. In fact, I live right beside a river. There's a, the Salmon River going. Woo! There's your cards going right by, right beside me. As soon as I started talking about salmon, remember that bear in the honey hole? 
salmon. Not really sure. I think that too belongs with this pile. So you got two kind of piles. They kind of split up. <clears throat> That's okay. The Ace of Clubs, the Jack of Diamonds, the Four of Clubs, and the Two of Spades. So the Ace of Clubs sometimes to me represents home, you know, a new home. Um, also, it represents new business, new career, new um, uh, achievement or goal that you're out after. But to me, it represents a new home. I think you could be moving. Um, you're getting some sort of news um, message about your stability, where you are. There's something about where you are. Uh, you may have to move. It looks like a breakup, a split. This is a split. So you may, if you, um, it doesn't look like a relationship split, though. It looks like maybe a partnership split or who you're living with split or, because you are moving. It says it down here. You're definitely moving. Um, I think that's exactly what that's about, okay? You might be moving in with more than one person in the next place, uh, or maybe moving in with your partner. Um, and so then you have the seven of clubs, the eight of hearts, and the six of hearts. So like I said, you might be moving in with your partner. This is a bit of worry, though, about that. Um, a bit of worry. This is love talk and steps in love. So the, the six are taking the relationship to the next level. You know, you, you start at the ace and then you move along and then you the relationship evolves. So uh, this is taking it the next step. So that could be moving in together. That would make sense with these other cards here. And it's, it's love talk, flirting, talking about taking it to the next step. There's something that worries you, though, about it, moving in together. But, you know, what's the difference between moving in with the girlfriend or moving in with the buddy? It's moving in. There's more emotions, more heart on the line, but it you might be ready to take this next step, it looks like to me, okay? Or you're worried about taking this next step, but doing it, I think you're doing it. <laughs> it's just you're hesitant. There, you have a little bit of fear, like I said, worry, right? You're, you, there's worry about, you know, where you're headed. You can see, eh? And it says it in both things. <laughs> Anyway, Leo, I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you subscribe, you get a notification about my live readings coming up, Valentine's. It'll tell you when and um, what day and all that, the details. I've never done it before, so it should be comical. I hope uh, you take it lightheartedly. So, um, and it is Cupid's Day after all. So, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Tink out.